Hey, what's going on everybody? Brett's Paradox here, and uh, we're gonna do something a little different today. I wanna talk about my top 10 favorite podcast episodes of all time. These are my favorites, my selections. I'm a little bit about me first. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm a, I'm a gaming junkie. I'm a podcast junkie first and foremost, uh, but I've never made a video on my podcast obsession until now. So here it is, guys. I'm obsessed with podcasts. I listen all day long, every day at work, working out, disc golf, driving. Even when I'm sleeping, I have podcasts playing. When I'm talking to people, I'm talking about podcasts at least 80% of the time. When I'm playing video games, boom, I play podcasts while playing. So, so that's like all I do with my life is podcasts and um, work. Well, podcasts and what else I'm doing with the podcast at the time that I'm listening to the podcast. So, so guys, all right, all right, let's let's hop right into this. Number ten, my tenth tenth favorite podcast episode of all time is wait for it. Number ten is Radio Lab from Tree to Shining Tree. This podcast completely blew my mind. A forest can feel like a place of great stillness and quiet, but if you dig a little deeper, there's a hidden world beneath your feet as busy and complicated as a city at rush hour. In this story, a dog introduces us to a strange creature that burrows beneath forests, building an underground network where deals are made and lives are saved and lost in a complex web of friendships, rivalries, and business relations. It's a network that scientists are only just beginning to untangle and map. And it's not only turning our understanding of forests upside down, it's leading some researchers to rethink what it means to be intelligent. Guys, this podcast completely blew my mind. It, it's about fungus and fungus's relationship to the to nature and plants and forests. It's it's completely crazy. It will leave you thinking that maybe fungus has some sort of intelligence. And uh, that sounds absolutely crazy unless unless you listen to this podcast or have heard about this in the past. So guys, check it out. That's number 10. And now number nine, onward. Number nine is the Joe Rogan Experience, number 1035 with Paul Stamets. Paul Stamets is a mycologist and he is a Sticking with our theme of fungi, this dude knows fungi maybe more than any other person on the planet. He's even got patents with fungi. How can you have a patent with fungi? You just have to listen to this podcast to find out. He's done work for the United States Department of Defense. He's got he's gonna save all the bees in the country, man. That's he's doing stuff that you wouldn't even believe. And uh, to make matters even more exciting. If you didn't, if that wasn't enough to convince you, he even talks about his his trips on psilocybin. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just it's nothing but good story after good story, and it's loaded with information. And uh, I mean, it's just all mind blowing. Joe Rogan's face in this picture says it the best. So uh, definitely, 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 definitely check it out. If you're uh, if if you like number ten on my list, you're gonna love this one even more. So uh, yeah, that's number that's number nine. Moving on to number eight. Number eight is from the podcast, This American Life. The episode's titled, Human Error in Volatile Situations. And this podcast, guys, it's a spectacular, spectacular podcast. Here's what, here's what it says. Even the best laid plans can go catastrophically wrong when humans get involved. This week, people bungle simple operations on some of the most dangerous weapons in the world. Uh, it's two different stories. One is about, uh, Navy naval accidents, naval boat accidents, and the other, the first act, is a story here. Just read this. Just listen to this, guys. In 1980, deep in a nuclear missile silo in Arkansas, a simple human error nearly caused the destruction of a giant portion of the Midwest. Man, and this is great storytelling. This is This American Life, guys. Check it out. Now, onward to number seven. Episode 110 from the podcast 99% Invisible. It's titled Structural Integrity. It's about the Citicorp Center building. And guys, check out this building. They had to de design this building to go around a church. And yeah, that does not look structurally sound, right? Here, just listen to this. This explains the whole podcast in one sentence. 
This thing does not look sturdy, but it has to be sturdy. Otherwise, they wouldn't have built it, right? Yeah, guys, this is this is the story of this building, how it was designed, and then what they found out after it was done being built. There's certain things about this building that make it real special. Particularly, it was designed to withstand winds from the side, so they built this huge, huge thing up top. I think they said it was a 400-ton device to keep the building stable. Only they found out from an undergraduate student that it was susceptible to winds from the corners. So yeah, guys, this is this is a mind-blowing... I'm going to say that a lot, but this is a mind-blowing podcast. Uh, and it's really well done from 99% Invisible. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I mean, anyone can enjoy this podcast. It's just... It's just mm, get you some. Onward. My seventh favorite podcast takes us back to This American Life. It's episode 241. It came out in 2003. It's titled 20 Acts in 60 Minutes. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful podcast. Real clever. It's 20 short stories, and they're told by great storytellers. Each one of them is spectacular. It's just a real, real clever, clever hour-long podcast. So I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm not even going to waste time talking about it, so you can get to it sooner. All right, next. Number five is my favorite episode from the Tim Ferriss Show podcast. It's number 108, the scariest Navy SEAL I've ever met and what he taught me. And that Navy SEAL is Jocko Willink. So Tim Ferriss, he's an author. He's a, a business startup. You've probably heard of him. He's got a real famous podcast, the Tim Ferriss Show. And... He has on Jocko Willink, a 20-year Navy SEAL veteran. Uh, Just just a truly, maybe one of the most impressive human beings that's out there. It it fills me with so much joy to know that people like Jocko exist in the world. And this is his story. This this was his coming out party. Uh, Since this podcast came out, Jocko now has his own podcast. And... uh, He's been on the Joe Rogan Experience also. All the podcasts I've ever heard with Jocko in it are all special. And uh, this is the one that kicked it off. So check it out. Speaking of Jocko Willink, let's talk about his podcast. It's number four on my list. The, the Jocko Podcast, show number 115 with Dakota Meyer. Dakota Meyer is a Marine. He's a Medal of Honor recipient. And this has to be the most gut-wrenching intense podcast that I've ever listened to and if you're into if you're into feeling things if you want to feel some emotion I guarantee you this will this will get you to feel something man and it's a heavy heavy powerful podcast the things that soldiers go through it's unbelievable and uh, God bless these people so uh, check out this podcast I think it's it's maybe one of the greatest podcasts of all time certainly in my opinion it's made my top 10. Onward to number three. WNYC presents Radio Lab. More perfect, one nation under money. This episode of Radio Lab uh, is awesome, guys. I think everyone should listen to it. It's about the Commerce Clause, and I didn't even know what the Commerce Clause was until I listened to this podcast. I should have, but I didn't. And uh, if you've never heard of the Commerce Clause, I highly recommend this podcast. Here, let me read this. An unassuming string of 16 words tucked into the Constitution grants Congress extensive power to make laws that impact the entire nation. The Commerce Clause has allowed Congress to intervene in all kinds of situations, from penalizing one man for growing too much wheat on his farm to enforcing the end of racial segregation nationwide. The Commerce Clause, it has so it gives Congress so much power. It's absolutely crazy. So it's it's both awesome and awesomely scary so definitely check this podcast out it's going to get you to think and i love podcasts that get us to think so it's a good one nice onward to number two the joe rogan experience number 958 with jordan peterson this was the second podcast that jordan peterson did with joe rogan i somehow overlooked the first i think a lot of people overlooked the first one uh but i had heard of jordan peterson from sam harris's podcast waking up I'm a huge Sam Harris fan. I love this podcast. I really wanted to put one in the top 10, but but uh, they were all just outside of that. But anyways, Jordan Peterson was on that pet podcast in January of 2017. 
and it was it's titled What is Truth? And it was a really fascinating podcast where they actually like debated back and forth what well, turned out to be what is the definition of truth. And Peterson had kind of a strange view on what truth was. So I kind of, I, I could tell he was really smart from the podcast, but I didn't really know much more about him other than he has this weird opinion of what truth is. And then I saw him again on uh, the Joe Rogan experience. I thought, well, I guess I should check it out and see what this guy is really about. And uh, it starts off a little slow, but... But it gets better and better and better as the podcast goes on. And it really felt like Jordan Peterson was speaking directly to me in this podcast. He talks a lot about chaos and archetypes and the hero's journey. And it just, it all sounds so simple and basic, but he says it in a way that's so articulate and makes so much sense that you really feel it. And you feel, you, you feel exactly what he's talking about. Like you've lived it, but you've never had the, the words for it. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm just simple-minded, but man, I love this podcast. It gets better and better as it goes on. If I've listened to, if I had to pick a podcast that I've listened to more than any other podcast, this would be it. It's a three hour long podcast. I've probably listened to it 20 hours at least. It's so good, especially the second hour, like the second, second half of it. You just, ooh, it's powerful. It's real powerful, guys. This is this podcast might have changed my life, guys. The first thing I did is I, after listening to this, I got off work and I cleaned my room and I started to try and get my life on track. Because, uh, you know, I was just kind of floating around for a long time. And Peterson, his words just hit me so hard. It's like, man, I need to, I need to do something with my life. And this, is, this podcast did it. This was the one. And this turned me on to Jordan Peterson. I've listened to just about every single interview, every single piece of... Every podcast he's done, I've listened to every word that he's said online, thousands of hours probably in the past year. Uh, I became a huge Jordan Peterson fan from this podcast, so it has to make number two in my all-time favorite list. Uh, I considered putting it number one, probably should have, because it is that good. Coming in at number one on my list is Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. Show number 48, Prophets of Doom. Hardcore History, is in my opinion the greatest podcast of all time. It, it's really more of an audiobook. Like they're like audiobook chapters. And Prophets of Doom, it's the shortest one. It's from his Blitz series, which which are one episode, uh, you know, all all encompassing episodes. But but it's a long one. I want to say it's like over four hours. But man, it's like a great great audiobook almost. Once you start it, you won't be able to stop. Prophets of Doom. Here, let me read this. Murderous millennial preachers and prophets take over the German city of Munster after Martin Luther unleashes a Pandora's box of religious anarchy with the Protestant Reformation. And <laughs> this this story has everything that great stories have. And it's told by a master storyteller, Dan Carlin himself. And one thing that he really does that I love is he always has a concept woven into his stories. So like there's like a master theme that he's telling the story with and he just it just comes full circle so many times they're so good they're so 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 good i can't even i can't even urge you enough to listen to this podcast if you haven't already and he's got so many other good ones but uh most of his are series so uh like the like there's one series about Genghis khan and that's that's a really great one a lot of his older stuff you have to buy uh, but his newer stuff, it's online for free. You could probably find this one on YouTube, Prophets of Doom, uh, or you could buy it on his website, but it is worth it. I, I bought every single one of his podcasts, and this is one of the best ones, maybe the best one. It's number one on my list after all. Uh, <laughs> it, you won't even believe the story. Like, it just gets crazier and crazier. And this is real life, guys. This happened. This actually happened, this story. And uh, I don't want to spoil it, but check it out if you haven't. Give it a chance. I think once you listen to five minutes of it, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. This dude, he can tell stories like nobody else. And this is this is a fantastic story. So that's number one, guys. That's my top ten. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you have uh, any other opinions or if I missed some podcast that you really like, leave a comment. I'd like to know what you guys think. I'm always looking for suggestions for podcasts. I'm constantly running out because I just keep listening to so many and I have to listen to the same ones because I run out so uh, yeah give me some podcast suggestions 
and uh, let me know what you think of my top 10. If you disagree, uh, I mean, well, you're definitely wrong if you disagree with me because it's my favorites, not yours. But uh, <laughs> I'm just playing. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, if you guys disagree, I'd like to know um, what you think I missed or what would have made your top 10. So uh, let me know. And uh, if you don't like the, if, you, if I did, if this podcast is just, or if this YouTube video is just absolutely terrible, let me know that too and I won't make any more. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was just trying this out because uh, I'm a huge fan of podcasts. I listen to them all the time, and uh, it's one of the things that I'm most passionate about, so I'm trying to do something with it and share my passion with other people. So there it is, guys. Brett's Paradox, out.